my favorite lichen dye is this Xanthoria parientina. And I don't know if this is going to come across, but it is a, yeah, it's, it's, like kinda, a blue. it's hard to see. It's blue, but there's some pink spots in there. You Ooh, see those little yeah. pink spots? So this um, lichen is bright yellowish green. It's like chartreuse. And you soak it in ammonia or urine, stale urine, for um, for a while until it transforms into a pink dye. And that pink dye makes a beautiful, like, just brilliant kind of bubblegum pink. And then you expose it to sunlight while it's still wet and it turns blue. It does this photo oxidization Whoa. trick. And so that is super magical. Um, then once it's dried, it's stable and it won't change color unless you live in a really, really um, UV exposed place like San Diego or something. Um, but for the most part, it's stable, definitely stable in my gray part of the world. That is so awesome. Do you know of any other lichen or mushrooms that color change with UV? Um, not dramatically and beautifully like that. There are some dyes that like will fade in UV. There's a lot of dyes that fade with repeated UV exposure. Um, usually not all the way. So if a, if a dye is, doesn't hold up to sunlight at all, then I don't really consider it a dye. Like I want it to hold up for a while, probably a long while, the longer, the better, obviously. But, um, if you hang your t-shirts on a line, you'll notice that even commercial dyes, even the strongest commercial dyes will fade over time with sunlight exposure. So sunlight really is the thing that takes the color away eventually. But that said, there are lots of dyes that hold up really well and long-term to that exposure. 